Hey guys, I'm in Ohio. I came back for my 20 year high school reunion and it was incredible. And this is my parents' house, this is where I grew up. Uh, it didn't look like this when I, when I grew up here. Well, it kind of looked like this actually. Here, this is the cemetery. Oh, let me look at that. Back there's the cemetery. We used to be able to get under that fence. Cut across. We played guns in there, isn't that crazy? Guess that's what kids do. They want to get us excited for war. It's beautiful though. My mom's basically uh, turned this into like a lush garden. And there's a, a cat up on that porch sleeping. She'll come out and drink out of this fountain. I've been thinking a lot about what happened this weekend in Charlottesville. That's where the cattle drink from. And you, I'm sure you've heard of it. I'd be shocked if you hadn't, but uh, a guy drove a car through a group of protesters, counter protesters. So, well, I can hear those, hear those chirping. Look at this. Looks like a crab apple fell on the ground. So, they were pulling down a statue of Robert E. Lee, I think it was, a Confederate, so a Confederate general, or maybe multiple Confederate generals, and a group of people wanted to protest it. Oh, I want to make a video here, but it's these bugs are so chirpy. I'll put up with it for a second. And um, they were protesting. Another group came to counter their protest and be like, "No, we want the statues to come down." And then. A guy, a young, like 20 year old man, drove a car through a crowd of those counter protesters and killed some people. I think he killed three people and wounded a bunch of people, like 20 people. So, it's really, this is my opinion, it's really important that we look at both sides. If you want to call it the left and the right, which obviously is kind of a silly way to describe who we are because we're both so much more than sideways and this side and that side like we're we, we we all encompass all sides of the equation whether we want family and community and freedom and money and wealth and what is wealth you know we all know that wealth isn't money wealth goes so much further than money but black lives matter i think has really rubbed a lot of people the wrong way in high school I grew up in, in Cuyahoga Falls, this is the name of this city, and they used to call it Caucasian Falls because, because, hold on, I wanna make sure that you can hear this too, because uh, the people, it was white people. And I don't like saying white, I like, I've come to the point in my life where I know that we're not white and black. My skin is like pinkish and everyone's different colors, but they would call it Caucasian Falls. And we used to sit around Taco Bell in seventh grade and be like, Affirmative action is reverse racism. Why would a black guy get a job if I'm equally as qualified or I'm slightly more qualified and then they give the job to him, that's racism against me. And we were like, yeah, fuck that, that's racism. And then I started to realize like, well, I think that the structure, the system is set up so that maybe there's a, a disadvantage given to eth certain ethnicities, unfortunately, like whether we want to like really think about it or not, but what happened is Black Lives Matter came around, formed this group about like black pride, African pride, you know, the, the pride of this culture, and other people call it white people or whoever just didn't like that this group was getting all this attention, and so is now like countering it and being like, well, if you're gonna have Black Lives Matter, we have White Lives Matter, and, and call them whatever, call them white nationalists, call them, you know, Nazis, call them, you know, there's all sorts of names and, and ridiculous stigmas you can attach to us, but you know, people people identify to their culture, their race, unfortunately, I think. I don't think that we really have a race. I mean, if you have a race, it's human, the human race. Um, so that's why that there's this, this conflict. And I'm not saying I, I don't blame Black Lives Matter because I don't think that they, anybody that's involved with that group had any intention of like causing some sort of rift uh, racially, but you know, we're all fucking human. So I wanna remember that the, the guy that drove that car through, he's a young guy, he was like 20 and he was confused. I mean, 
think about the last eight years, how, how old you're, I'm 38 now. So I remember getting on YouTube, oh, that's bright. I remember getting on YouTube in 2006 when I was like 26 years old and all the time that's gone by, 11 years have gone by. So this guy was nine when I started making YouTube videos. And all those days and influences that I had or could have had, all the videos that got made, the things that were said, the things that I didn't say that I thought about companionship and community and being together, he didn't hear that stuff because I didn't say it. I, I kept my mouth shut and just let stuff go as it is. And it's, you know, if you're gonna tread water, you gotta, you gotta tread. You know, if you don't wanna swim with the rest of us, if you just wanna tread water, that's still a lot of work. And if you're not willing to, to actually do the work, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna float and you're gonna sink. And what that means is that things around you are gonna start to fall apart. So it's okay not to push forward with life as hard as you can and, and be successful at everything. But if you're gonna sit at home alone quietly and ignore what's going on, you still have to do the work. Whatever that means, take care of your body, meditate, be at peace, find peace. Don't, don't think about the angry stuff. I mean, that'll, it'll come especially if you're isolated, but you have a job to do to keep us alive. And this kid, man, this guy, this 20 year old man that like, had I, he just didn't know. Like, I don't think anyone really told him like, Hey man, we're all connected. It's okay. These, this other group's misled, misguided, and it's okay. Everyone will come around. You still matter. You still fit in. You're cool. So we have a job to do to speak up. I know a lot of people that want peace, that have love basically as their primary motivation. Obviously we gotta eat and survival is maybe, maybe primary, primal, prime. But after that, after that we need to sustain Like this, look what we've done so far as humans. We don't get hunted by wolves at night anymore because we've set up boundaries and fences and walls and, you know, racistly murdered all the other animals or whatever, but we've created safety for ourselves and now we have to sustain this. We've done a lot of the hard work. Think about it. Think about, I mean, think about where we were 10,000 years ago, 100,000 years ago, running from bears and praying that we got through the night. And now we have this beautiful, amazing creation and we need to sustain this together as humans. Whether that means we genetically recreate all the wildlife on other planets, we can bring it back. But it's our job, we need to do this. I think I speak because I know we can. I know we can. And so I speak because if I, if I didn't think we could, I wouldn't say anything. I just let it go. And I'm not letting it go because I know we can do this. We're built for this. Jesus Christ came along and everyone was like, oh yeah, Christianity, that's good. Bunch of people, they were like, yeah, those are good ideas. We're all connected. We're all brother and sister. We're all unified, working together. We can do this. And we don't have an emperor. Like Jesus had an emperor that wanted him dead. We don't have an emperor. We don't have someone that's trying to snuff out this message of peace. And maybe we do. Maybe, you know, the fi global financial system is the emperor right now and, and we need to realize that whatever division, whether it's the mass media, whether it's CNN or this thing that tells us that we're different and then there's like a group over there and a group over there and look at those groups and as soon as you start to think I'm in a group and they're in a group, like you forget that you're all in one big group. You can meditate, that's a good way to not get brainwashed. Smoke pot, you know. THC is not as bad for you as they thought it was. That can help you see a lot of different perspectives at once. Drink a lot of water, stay healthy, because it's easier to feel good about yourself and other people if you're not pissed off. And if you eat shitty food, you're gonna hurt, your body's gonna ache, you're gonna try and keep it in your gut so it doesn't go up into your heart, the acid from the shitty food you ate up into your head. And then you're gonna be stressed out. And it's gonna be hard to love people if you're worried about how you feel because you ate too much bread or whatever. So there's things you can do to really lay the seeds now. It doesn't happen instantly, but it happens. It happens when you take care of yourself and, and you let... 
you let yourself be, you'll realize even the mosquitoes leave you alone. Like this guy. Well, I'm not going to tempt fate by sitting around all these mosquitoes because humans have gone a long way to make sure that we're not in malaria-driven cesspools where the mosquitoes can eat us alive. But I have noticed if you're in certain types of mood or eating certain types of food that mosquitoes may or may not come after you. Sometimes they just don't. Sometimes they live in harmony with you. In fact, one time I had these mosquitoes in my house and they were just flying around. And then I, one of them flew by and I, and I killed it. And then all the other ones came after me, a bunch of them. For the rest of the night, they were, they were attacking me after that. They're alive, They're, they have brains, they think. I know this is a lot, this is all over the place, but I'm really concerned about what happened in Charlottesville, man. I think we know, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the feedback I'm, I've been getting and seeing and reading because I'm doing like, I'm working on minds today and watching a lot of the, the response is that people from every angle are terrified by that, by realizing what could happen. It's, it's, it seems fun and silly almost to like make posts on social media, like, yeah, fuck them. But then just one day, you know, a thousand people get together and and all say fuck them and remember that dumb post that someone else thought was funny that really hurt their feelings and it just takes one stupid moment i mean accidents are real people can accidentally get hurt they can accidentally walk into traffic so when you have motivation of anger behind that i mean it, it, it becomes maybe even more likely to do something dumb to ha to have some sort of accident or like you know, I don't think that guy was like necessarily planning to kill a bunch of people. It's just that you get so angry that the fucking brain shuts down and the the, in, the animal instinct takes over. That's that's part of what we're supposed to do because we need to stay alive. Man, I, I could go on and on. We really need to take care of each other. I always like sunflowers. I think sunflowers are some of my favorite plants. Wow, look at all that light. I haven't even been watching my, uh, my monitors, so this light, harsh ass fucking light. Let's go back inside. Oh, look who's here. What was that? Tell me again. Really? Why do you suppose? She's very talkative. You are. All right, I'm gonna go inside. This is Kitty, by the way. Kitty? She's uh, my mom's friend. Friend of the family. Just kidding, she's part of the family. All right, I'll see you guys. Have a nice evening, have a nice day. Take care of yourself. Don't forget to breathe and focus on breathing out. You, you breathe in. Um, you don't need to breathe all that air out. What'll happen is the air that you breathe in, a lot of the oxygen that you breathe in, you gotta kinda leave it in, relax, let it convert to carbon dioxide, which actually takes a second, because if you breathe in and out too fast, you're not converting the oxygen to carbon dioxide. So just focus on breathing out that carbon dioxide, that hot air and we'll be okay. We're okay, this is, at least some of us are okay, so let's bring this to the rest of us.